Well, church, bueno, iglesia, I stand before you here today, aquí estoy de usted and hoy. I have uh, some good news and bad news. Buenas nuevas y pues malas nuevas. You want the bad first, right? That's the way Así people es. usually take it. Okay. Bad is, uh, it's not that bad. This no is my very bien. first time trying this. Uh, I'm not going to say it's preaching, I'm going to say sharing. Es mi primer uh, vez en compartir, no predicando. So you have to bear with me that <coughs> I may uh, mess up the translation <laughs> timing. <laughs> Este, hay, uh, voy a dar un poquito difícil, pero voy a tener traductora. I may get a little nervous, I may get a little lost. Si me pierdo un poco, me pongo nerviosa, pues ustedes tienen misericordia. But I'm excited because I know uh, I pero can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Me gozo yeah, porque right. todo lo puedo en Cristo que me fortalece. <coughs> And now the good news. Y tengo buenas nuevas. We might get out of here pretty early. Llegamos <laughs> temprano. Because <laughs> I don't got much here. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's always good to start out with a little joke, but. Uh, <laughs> In all seriousness, I, I'm pretty excited to do this because I know that uh, it's a challenge. Me pongo de hacer esto, es un reto. And uh, I don't like challenges. I don't like things that make me get nervous, but I feel like I like to force myself to do them. And it's tough because, you know, obviously uh, my dad's very good at this. My brother is pretty good at this too. Y pues es poco difícil porque mi padre y mi hermano son buenos predicadores. And I like to just stay hiding behind the keyboard there, but I believe that <laughs> everyone's called to minister. Everyone can preach. Everyone can share the gospel. Yo estoy detrás del piano, pero todos pueden compartir el evangelio. And your mom, she's a good preacher. Yes, my mom's the best. <laughs> Love you forever. <laughs> Thank you. No, I It's think I'm a teacher. Day. I'm a good teacher. Can we get one day for Father's Day? Nah, pero hoy día de padre, hallelujah. Okay, so uh, before we go, uh, we start with this message. I want to just pray. So let's bow our heads and uh, dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you again for this day. We yes. thank you for allowing us to be here, Lord God. We thank you for this opportunity that we know not everyone has in around the world, Lord God, but we're here and we're grateful, we're thankful, Lord God, to receive your word and your presence in this place, Lord God. We ask that everything that I say, everything that gets dis uh, distributed into this sanctuary be of you, Lord God. Nothing be of me, Lord God, and that everything go your way from beginning to end. I have faith that you will do something here today. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Okay, so today's Father's Day, we all know that. Hoy es día de padre, sabemos eso. It's very special for me in multiple ways. Especialmente because, para mí. Of course, I have my Heavenly Father, which is God, which I have all my trust, my faith, and, and all my love for. Tengo mi padre en el cielo. My physical father, which mi is the pastor of the church. A quien pastor. And now I'm also a father. Yo también soy padre so hoy. just a lot of fathers going on here. <laughs> Muchos so padres aquí. I've titled the message for today. It sounds a little echoey. Can we adjust it a bit? del mensaje de hoy uh, trust the father confiar al padre do you trust the father usted confía en el padre in all that you do and all that we go through in this world todo lo que hacemos y lo que pasamos en este mundo you may not understand quizás no lo entiendas the things of God and why he does things his way las cosas de Dios y por qué las hace but you must always remember to trust the father pero siempre tenemos que confiar al padre and if you trust the father and his ways si confía en el Padre y sus caminos As the Bible has shown us, como la Biblia nos enseña you will always be successful. siempre tendrás éxito Whether it be in this life or the next. sea en esta vida en la otra también so, I'm going to start off with a verse here I want you to turn to uh, Jeremiah 17 Jeremías 17 and we're going to read verse 7 and 8 7 y 8 and the verse reads Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord, and whose hope is in the Lord. For he shall be like a tree planted by the waters, and that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when he cometh, but her leaves shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. No está. It is in Spanish. Bendito el varón que confía en Jehová y cuya confianza en Jehová, porque él será como el árbol plantado junto a las aguas, que junto al corriente echa sus raíces y no verá cuándo viene el calor, sino que su hoja estará verde y en el año de sequía no fatigará, ni dejará de hacer fruto. Amen. You see, God and Jesus is a, he's that living water that el, provides life to us. Jesús es el agua viviente. And if we stay close to him and his word, de él y su palabra, we don't need to worry. No preocupáis. 
When the drought comes, cuando vengan las sequías, when the hard times come, tiempos difíciles, we'll always be safe by the water siempre if we put our faith in it. Seguros en esas aguas. And the fruit we yield y la fruta que damos, will be the blessings of our lives. Las bendiciones de la vida. Okay, so there's a lot of things a father must be. Muchas cosas que un padre tiene que hacer. And uh, the list can go on and on. Y la lista se va y se va. But I chose three topics Pero that I wanted to unas tres specify uh, over. Especificar. And the first is a father must be a teacher. El padre debe de ser un maestro. Okay, so one thing about being a father and a physical father and teaching, of course, our children. Una cosa es ser un padre físico y enseñándole a nuestros hijos. Is that you are, you're kind of on a limited time frame. Estás en un tiempo como limitado. You see, of course, someone can always learn. I still learn from my father today, but one thing to remember is uh, teaching children. Enseñando niños y aprendiendo. As their children, they'll do what you tell them to do. Sus hijos van a hacer lo que usted hace. Until a certain age. Hasta cierta edad. Then they're going to do what you've shown them to do. Y de, después de eso van a hacer lo que usted le ha enseñado que haga. That's so, pretty good. After that point, they're going to be doing what you've shown them to do by your example, by your teachings. Después de ese punto van a hacer ellos lo que usted les ha demostrado sus enseñanzas. And though you may be there, they're going to be mostly on their own. Y mientras que usted esté ahí como quiera, ellos ya van a estar ya solos haciendo esas cosas. As noted in the Bible, Jesus trained his disciples through his ministry for about three years, approximately. Jesucristo entrenó sus uh, discípulos por tres años. And see, they were like his children, and he was teaching them and training them. Era como sus hijos y lo estaba entrenando. So when he left and went to be with his heavenly father Cuando él se fue para el cielo con su padre, they had to share the gospel as he showed them tenían que enseñar el evangelio his como Jesús les enseñó a través de ejemplo so he trained them first so they can be on their own so teaching is very important primero para que después pudieran hacer el trabajo solos we must always follow the wisdom of the father siempre seguir la sabiduría del padre and as Jesus showed his disciples and God showed us through the word como el Señor le enseñó a, a sus discípulos y a nosotros a través de su palabra there is a purpose for everything hay un propósito para todo and there is a specific direction for everything we must do y hay una específica dirección para todo now I'm going to give you a little example of a testimony of uh, something my father would, would teach me and uh, how I un corto testimonio de mi padre and how it's important to follow directions es importante seguir direcciones you see when I was younger era um, joven I've always been attracted to things of any type of motor, type of vehicle, or driving. A mí me gustaban los motores, los carros. And my dad bought this tractor, and uh, he allowed me to cut the yard. Y mi padre the... trajo un tractor y me dijo corta la yarda. Of course, it, cutting the yard, I always I don't think anybody really likes cutting the yard. A nadie le gusta cortar sacate. <laughs> I saw a motor and I saw a tractor. And I said, I want to cut this little riding lawnmower. I wanted to cut the yard. Un troque y un motorcito, dijo yo manijo. <laughs> so all I had in mind was just going as fast as I could and Dije, cutting that yard. Me voy bien recio cortando este sacate. <laughs> yeah, put the little turtle up to the rabbit y le subí así para que se fuera and I floored it y and le pisé la pata. <laughs> I didn't really think about the directions he told me how to use it everything you know has no. a, he used, he's the type of person that'll read the owner's manual and I'm not yo no me fijé cómo se debe de cortar un sacate y él mi padre es el tipo de que él ve el libro del manual y lo hace todo al pie de la letra I just learn as I go y yo nomás aprendo como voy yendo so he you know after a while he would let me do it and week after week I enjoyed it actually I put my headphones on and raced that thing around the arch anyways one day I finished it extra fast I was Una vez you know, having fun with it and uh, my father comes out and he was just like <laughs> his face was like what happened here Una vez acabé muy pronto y lo hice todo feito y mi padre salió hizo una cara. and if you know about like uh, you know science fiction like what they call crop circles when the aliens come and make a little design in, si the, in the fields de como los uh, los que vienen así y hacen puros círculos bien well, that's redondos. what I had done to the yard and así my dad corté. being as a corté perfectionist he did not like it didn't appreciate it very perfeccionista much y dijo, no, esto no está bien. he said did you follow the instructions I gave you Siguite las instrucciones, Michael. I mean I have to check the oil before I use it I gotta check things and el aceite. or gas I, of course Todo. I just ran it through and I went in circles because it's faster I forgot one thing. <laughs> I was riding the lawnmower the whole time with one flat tire. Se me so la cosa. <laughs> the blade was slightly tilted, and that's why the grass looked all Traeba designed. Una llanta hasta flat y pero le di recio. And that was one thing I forgot. And he says, "You see, that's why you got to check everything. The tire, everything has an instruction. Everything has a examinar purpose." Todo, y todo tiene instrucciones y todo tiene propósito. And that's the wisdom of a father. La sabiduría del padre. As to a child. A su hijo. So the same thing for God. Lo mismo con el señor. He's laid out instructions in his word. Él ha dado sus instrucciones en la palabra. 
And we can't just skip things. There's a purpose for it. Y no nomás podemos uh, dejar unas cosas. Hay propósito. You can't not pray and just go straight to reading the word. No pueden uh, no orar y de ahí ir directamente a la palabra. You can't read the word and not pray. No puede leer la palabra y no orar. Van juntas. And you can't lack the commitment to do the things he, does, he wills you to. Y no puedes dejar el compromiso que él te ha dado. So when I say read the word, Cuando read digo, it with purpose and seek the direction of the Father. Lean las palabras de Dios y las direcciones del Padre. Another thing about teaching that a father must do, Otra cosa que enseña un padre, which is relevant to today, is that you have to teach your children the right thing las cosas de derechas a sus hijos in a wrong world. En este mundo que está equivocado. And as Christians, we know what I'm talking about. Como cristianos, ya sabemos lo que esto dice. The world around us is not what the Bible teaches us most of the time. El mundo alrededor de nosotros no está acomplándose con la palabra de Dios. Many may say it's getting worse. Muchos This is dirán, the end times. Se está poniendo peor. Son los fines de los tiempos. Sometimes even the cartoons aren't safe for the children. A veces hasta los caricaturas salen malos para los niños. But to be honest, this is where the world's been from the beginning. Pero sinceramente, desde un principio había maldad en este mundo. You see, Noah had to raise his children in a wicked world too. Noah crió a sus hijos en un mundo malvado. But he had his children in mind and their best interest. Pero él tenía sus hijos en mente y el mayor interés en ellos. You see, Noah was faithful to God. He was real close to God. Noah era fiel con Dios y cerca con el Señor. And he worked for many, many years. Y trabajó we, we know as the ark. Muchos años. And you see, God had a purpose for that ark. Y tenía Noah. un propósito para esa arca, el Señor. Noah maybe knew most of it, but he didn't know all of it, because God knows what's going to happen in the future. Noah no sabía todo, pero el Señor sí sabía el futuro. You see, all of he may thought is to save all the animals, but God knew that his family would be the only ones in there. Y pues salvó todos los animales, pero Dios sabía que su familia iba a estar allí. So you have to ask yourself. Se pregunta uno mismo. Are you building that ark for your family, fathers? ¿Estás tú edificando una arca para tu familia? La are, you, are you faithfully working fielmente trabajando in God's will for your la, family? La voluntad de Dios para tu familia. Now I read something, I uh, can't remember where, but I think it was the book of 2 Peter. It was a brief statement about Noah. Leí un poquito en segunda de Pedro de Noah. And you see, I don't know, I've tried to look into it, but they called Noah the eighth. Eighth, like the number eight. Okay, Noah el ocho. <laughs> And uh, we all know there was eight on the ark. Y había ocho en la arca. I believe it was the, the six children and the Los hijos, husband esposas. and wife, right? And, and uh, the eighth, a lot of people say, what's the significance of the eighth? ¿Qué we, es el del ocho? we know that the seven's a, a, a godly number. Siete es, uh, perfecto. And uh, there's a lot of theory behind the eighth. Y hay muchas cosas detrás del ocho. But the one I feel just makes the most sense to me. ¿Qué hace sentido para mí? Seeing how Noah was such about God and for his family, que no era de su familia y de Dios. the eighth person to enter the ark means that Noah entered last. Y des, y el ocho persona quiere decir que Noah fue el último que entró. Not only to put his family first, no nomás se poner a su familia primero, but to be assured that they were in there. Para asegurarse que ellos entraban a la arca. And their salvation. Y su salvación. Was guaranteed. Estaba garantizada. Because God had placed it in His hands. Dios lo puso en sus manos. Come on, amen. You that need to make sure that the ark you are building que is ese built arca in God's will. Sea edificada en la voluntad de Dios. The fathers must also make sure that your children aboard the ark. Que sus hijos deben de asegurarse que el padre debe asegurar que sus hijos entran a esa arca de la salvación. Because no matter how much Noah taught his children, I'm sure they learned so much about carpentry building that ark, helping their father. Y Noah le hablaba mucho a sus hijos de la carpintería y toda esa arca tan grande. All those life lessons would mean nothing if they didn't have the salvation in the Todas end. Todas esas lecciones fueran caído en nada si no fueran sido salvos. You see, sometimes we teach uh, lessons directly, like I was saying. Like maybe he taught them how to build. Quizás son lecciones de vida, cómo edificar uh, arcas. But sometimes the best teaching is through example. Y a veces el mejor ejemplo eh, es a través de los ejemplos del Padre. That has the greatest impact, I believe. Eso tiene que ser primero. Okay, so that's teaching. But es now I want to say the Father must, this is an obvious one, but we'll get into it. The Father must love. El Padre debe de amar. You see, the greatest commandment from God was to love. 
El mayor mandamiento del Señor era amar. Mm -hmm. What type of love? ¿Qué tipo de amor, hermanos? An unconditional love. Un amor incondicional. Mm -hmm. I want to uh, go to Romans uh, 8:38 and 39. Hermanos, vamos a Romanos 8, 38 al 39. Boy, I made my mistake already. <laughs> I need a Bible. <laughs> I have my Bible. Can you pass it to me? I'll get pastors. Yes, Romans 8, 38 and 39. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, Hallelujah. which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Is it Spanish? Yes, I don't know if they put it in Spanish. Por lo cual, estoy seguro de, de, que, ni, de, de que ni la muerte ni la vida, ni ángeles, ni principados, ni potestades, ni lo presente, ni lo porvenir, ni lo alto, ni lo profundo, ni ninguna otra cosa creada nos podrá separar del amor de Dios que es en Cristo Jesús Señor nuestro. Amen. See, that's the love that God has for you. Es el amor que Dios tiene para usted. And that's Amen. the love he's commanded you to have as fathers el over your children. Que usted debe tener sobre sus hijos. And see, that's what I mean by unconditional love. Eso es lo que digo, amor incondicional. Is that nothing, nothing Nada. can separate you. Nada te puede separar. And I know we've heard this before, and I know we thought about it before. This type of love, this verse in lo particular. Lo hemos oído y lo hemos contemplado. But sometimes I know that. Uh, Pero a veces. Conviction arises in our hearts. La convicción nos toca el corazón. Sometimes we know we're not perfect. We make mistakes. Hacemos errores, sí. And I've been guilty of this, and I felt that maybe. Uh, Somos culpables. Not that God could stop loving me, but how could he continue to love me? And I would carry that with me sometimes, because as you know, uh, there's a lot of uh, heavy preaching in this church. And I know it's to make me a better person, but sometimes I wonder, God, I've messed up so many times. Sometimes the same thing over and over. Es para ser how mejor. can you love me still, even though unconditionally me sigues amando con mis faltas. you say so? And uh, as a father now, I... I felt like God revealed it to me in a very special way. Como padre, voy a <coughs> I'll just give another short testimony. Um, as you know, I have uh, my son and my daughter. Tengo una hija y un hijo. They're uh, extra special. Son muy especial. <laughs> you guys noticed? <laughs> ya lo han visto. And, uh, you know, they can, they can be very disobedient, as children can be. A veces son uh, Micah, in his twos, he's been a little hyper and, you know, wild. Muy activo, mi hijo. Anyway, sometimes uh, I get after him. He gets me pretty upset, you know. It's lo regaño y pues ahí lo disciplino. I lose my temper, and sometimes I don't even know how I get mad so quick, but I do. Me enojo con él y pues lo regaño. And uh, I look at him, and he's just not listening. He's not afraid of me. He doesn't care. No escucha, no teme. And uh, you know, I see him, and, and I feel like God revealed to me. Dios me reveló. If this child of yours uh, would never listen, would you still love him? Si esta criatura nunca te poniera atención y fuera desobediente, lo siguieras uh -huh. amando. And I would. Seguro que sí, señor. Uh -huh. If he grew up to be uh, very cruel to me and uh, maybe even betray me one day, would you still love him? Then? Si te traicionara y fuera malvado, todavía lo amaras. And I would. Yes, el amor. Yes. And God says, so will I. Así yo también te amaré. Oh, thank so now you. when I look at my children y mira mis hijos, and I see them running around without a care in the world y los miro sin ningún I know that God sees me that way el Señor me mira a mí, sí, yes he's strict with me es. he may get angry with me sí. but he's faithful to forgive me and pero his love is unconditional fiel para perdonar y su and amores. it just makes so much sense to me now Eso me how hace my father loves me a being a father Amen. loving a child Amando un hijo. And that was a beautiful thing. And you don't es have to have children. Maybe God revealed that to you in another way. Te, But I think God knew that I needed that. Yo lo esa so now every time I see my children, I think Mira mis hijos. how much more God wants me to run into his arms Dios que yo corra through sus his unconditional love. Con su amor now, unconditional love is it's a beautiful thing, but es eso. I don't want it to be uh, misunderstood as 
Most people think love is just great affection. Yeah, no vayan a pensar que ese amor es nomás gran afección, no lo malentiendan. That may, not in the church, but maybe in the world, that may be a misconception of what love is. No sea algo que se malinterprete esa del amor. Um, such as, if you do this for me, you love me. If you give me this, I know you love me. Si me haces esto, te amo. Y si haces esto por mí, me amas. But, <coughs> God's love is also firm. El amor de Dios también es firme. And it's firm in a selfless way because it has a purpose. Y hay propósito con el amor de Dios. And it has your future in its best interest. Y tiene tu futuro en su mejor interés. You see, God, uh, he died and Jesus, I mean, God sent Jesus to die on the cross. Mandó a Jesús que muriera en la cruz. He took all the pain and suffering and sin. Y tomó todo el dolor. And when he was done, cuando ya paró todo, he said it is finished. Dijo ya es terminado. But what he meant was his mission, his calling, his Su journey was finished. Misión en la cruz fue terminada allí. But ours had just begun. Y la de nosotros apenas empezó. You see, he provided us the power Nos proveyó poder to take control of our lives that day de tomar control de nuestras and vidas complete his will. Y completar su propósito. You see, a father's love must be firm if you are to grow. El amor del padre tiene que ser firme para que si quiere crecer. And I want to try to explain this to you in the best way that I know because uh, talk about something that I know about. Lo voy a tratar de explicar. You see, what I do for work is I provide physical therapy Yo soy terapista en el trabajo to patients who are weak. Para pa pacientes que están débiles. And you see, uh, it's interesting how God es can use his creation and tie it into his word. Es interesante como Dios puede usar su creación para completar su palabra. See, the way he designed this body lo diseñó el cuerpo de nosotros. Is very parallel to the way he, his word speaks of how we're to grow. Es paralelo con la palabra de Dios. You see, one thing, I'm going to use some little terminology here. The way a muscle can grow Como un músculo puede or crecer not. O no puede crecer. I don't even familiar with the term atrophy. Atrophy. Yeah. El atrophy es algo que... It's the, when the muscle actually depreciates. It gets smaller. It lessens. El, el músculo se debilita más pequeño. You see, in the body design that if you don't move, el cuerpo es diseñado que si usted no se mueve, if I were to put you in a bed, estuvieras en cama, leave you there and just feed you with a spoon, y nomás darte comida y así te quedabas, your muscles will literally waste away. Tus músculos ahí se derrotarían. And then there's what we call hypertrophy. Y hay otro que se llama hipertrophy. And that means that your muscles will grow. Y eso quiere decir que tus músculos van a crecer. Your strength will increase. Y tu fortaleza va a incrementar. But there's only one way that could happen. Es solamente puede pasar de una cosa. A muscle must have resistance for it to grow. Tiene que tener resistencia para crecer. You see, and God y will Dios, allow that resistance in your life. Y Dios pone esa resistencia en tu vida. If you are to grow. Para que crezcas. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we may think. A veces pensamos. Are these things of God that happened to me in life? Ay, estas cosas son de Dios. These tan, struggles, these pains. Estas pruebas, dolores. They're not of God. No son de Dios. But he might allow them. Pero él las permite. Because he loves you enough. Porque él te ama tanto. To allow you to grow. Para que usted crezca. And just like that muscle needs resistance, sometimes we need a little así bit of that in our life. Ese músculo necesita resistencia, así nosotros necesitamos esa resistencia de para crecer a través de pruebas. You see, a lot of times as parents, as fathers. Muchas veces como padres. We see our children, and sometimes we see them struggling. Vemos los hijos que están batallando. And man, I bet sometimes we just wish we could go in there and take it all from them. Y quisiera uno nomás quitar ese obstáculo de ellos. We could possibly do everything for them. Y hacer todo para ellos. But sometimes we shouldn't. Pero a veces tenemos que dejarlos. Because that resistance will promote growth in their life. Porque esa resistencia es para su crecimiento. You see, even the, the Father, which is God, hasta el Padre, que es Dios, He allowed His own Son to die. Dejó que su Hijo muriera en la cruz he could have easily stepped in podía haber dicho no and canceled the whole thing y cancelar todo and said that's my son ese es mi hijo but he didn't pero no lo hizo he had to let Christ die on his own que Cristo muriera porque él quiso so that Jesus could fulfill the, his destiny and purpose para que Jesús completara su destino y su propósito so don't be alarmed when things get tough no, usted no se asuste cuando vienen las pruebas. Because of Christ, I mean, if God allowed Jesus Christ to suffer on His own for a moment, si Dios dejó que Cristo uh, sufriera en la cruz, then understand the blessing of Him doing that to you. Y es la bendición, entienda la bendición por qué lo hizo. Okay. 
And like I mentioned earlier, when Christ died, cuando Dios Jesucristo murió, you know, he said it's finished. Dijo, el terminado es. And a lot of people like to use that as, uh, you know, it's finished. I don't have to do anything. Y muchos dicen, ya se terminó, no tengo que hacer nada. Everything's gonna come easy. Todo viene fácilmente. If I try to work too hard, si trabajo muy duro, that's uh, unbiblical because then the same what God did wasn't enough. On, no what Christ es, did. Eso no es eh, bíblico porque por lo que hizo Cruz quizás no valga. But that's just not the meaning of Pero what he no, meant. Pero no, ese no es el significado, hermanos. His destiny, his purpose had been finished. Su destino y su propósito sí. He Ahí defeated acabó. death. Ahí derrotó la muerte en el Calvario. So that we can live life. Para que nosotros viviéramos la vida. Amen. And you see the disciples prove this. Los discípulos lo probaron. They, their ministry began as soon as Christ's ministry ended. Uh, el ministerio de los discípulos empezó cuando acabó el de Jesús. And if Christ had finished it all, as some people say, then why would the disciples should just go home and be with their families finally? Si Jesucristo ya lo terminó todo, porque los discípulos no se fueron para la casa y se acabó todo. But they didn't. Pero no, era el As a matter of fact, things got worse for them. Ay, pero cosas se it got hard. Bien difícil para ellos. But they did the will of the Father. Pero hicieron la voluntad del Padre. Because they trusted in the Father. Porque confían en Dios. Confiaron en Dios. See, because God's demonstration of love, like I just showed you, la demostración del amor de Dios, was not only meant to save you, no fue solamente para salvarte, but to equip you. Para equiparte. Amen. Which leads me to my uh, third topic. Que es para el tercer punto para A father terminar. must fight. Un padre debe de pelear the good fight. la buena batalla come on you know, I know a lot of people don't like to talk about this type of things uh, quizás a una gente no le guste hablar de esto church is about mostly loving y la iglesia pues dicen debe de ser de puro amor and letting God carry us y que Dios te cargue and when those footprints in the sand were gone we always want to be there because God's carrying us all the time cuando ya no están las pies ahí en la arena but I'm going to tell you the truth it's not like that yo digo la verdad no es así You claro. woke up today, you already woke up into a battlefield. Usted se levantó hoy a una batalla. You can't avoid the fight. No puedes evitar la, la batalla. But you gotta remember Pero entiende una cosa. who you are fighting a quién estás peleando and what you are fighting for. Y qué lo que estás luchando. Let's turn to Ephesians. Vamos a Efesios 6, 12 al 13. 6, 12 and 13 and a little piece of 14. It reads, Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything to stand, piece of 14 says, stand firm. Porque no tenemos lucha con sangre y carne, sino contra principados, contra potestades, contra señores del mundo, gobernadores de estas tinieblas, contra malicias espirituales en los aires. Por tanto, tomar toda la armadura de Dios y podáis resistir el día malo y estar firmes habiendo acabado todo. Amén. I missed the part where it says that we don't fight against flesh and blood. But you've read that before. Sí. I know it gets said a lot here, and we know who the true enemy is. Sabemos quién es el enemigo. Because I said you want to know who you're fighting against and Se what you're fighting for. Que saber contra la quien está peleando. But to prove what I said, I don't know if you caught that where it says. Para traer un punto. So that when. Para cuando. The day of evil comes. Venga el día maligno. You see, it didn't say if the day of evil comes. No dijo si acaso llegará a venir el día malo. I told you. It says when. Cuando, porque va a llegar el día de tu prueba. Because that is our destiny. Es tu destino. We're soldiers for Christ. Soldados para Cristo. And you can try to avoid it. Lo puedes evitar. But then you'll never grow. Pero nunca vas a crecer. Hmm. You see, let me tell you how we're meant to fight. Mire cómo fuimos nacidos para how pelear. How we're supposed to fight. Cómo debemos de pelear. You see when. When Christ is about to fulfill his destiny. Cuando Jesús estaba para cumplir su destino. And you know the, the way the story goes. Bef ¿Sabe cómo va la historia? Before Christ was taken. Antes que se llevaran a Jesús. They sent about, I'm going to estimate, I haven't got the exact number. It was hundreds. Hundreds of Roman soldiers. Cien, cien de We're soldados. talking 
not just people with pitchforks. We're talking about battle-ready Roman soldiers. Soldados, guerreros, equipados. And you know the Romans. Y los romanos. They had the best of the best. Tenían lo mejor. They knew how to fight. Sabían pelear. Hundreds of soldiers came for one man. Cientos de soldados por un varón. Have you ever thought about that? ¿Usted nunca ha pensado de eso? I think it's because they knew something about Yo this creo man. Que ellos sabían que este hombre the power he had. Poderoso. Amen. They came ready to fight Vinieron listos para pelear against un one hombre. Jewish rabbi. En, en contra de un maestro, But the significant Macias. thing is, as they came ready to fight, possibly, who knows how scared they were of Christ. Vinieron listos para pelear contra Jesús. Christ had already done his fighting. <laughs> Jesús ya había hecho la pelea. On his knees. De rodillas en Gethsemane. Because before they came for him, he was praying, as he always did in the Garden of Gethsemane. Antes de que vinieran por él, él estaba ya orando. And the spiritual battle was raging on that night. Y la guerra espiritual pasó esa noche. While the disciples were asleep. Y los discípulos dormidos. So Christ showed us then and there. Ahí los enseñó Jesús en Gethsemane. Even to Peter then and there. Hasta Pedro le enseñó. As he struck that man in the ear with his sword. Vio la oída de ese soldado. Jesus took that flesh Jesús tomó el and that blood esa sangre, and repaired it y se lo pegó para because atrás. the battle is not against Porque your neighbor la batalla nuestro en contra not against carne, your children, your vecinos, family hijos, your boss tu, uh, patrón, no? the democrats or republicans Democráticas o republicanos, no. hmm. it's against the enemy es en contra del enemigo. and when you learn that y cuando usted aprende eso, and you learn how to fight y sabe cómo pelear, with the armor of God con la armadura, you will see victory in your family habrá victoria en su familia. and if you don't y si no, you still fight siga peleando. so that the devil knows Para que el enemigo sepa, that there will always be a fight que siempre if he's habrá to come and mess with this household una pelea y sabe just as Christ showed us que no debe de venir a tratar de derrotar nuestras familias You know, it's like I said, it's just not, it's not easy. Even Paul said he oh. ran a race. Pablo dijo, corrí la carrera. As much as we like to think of Christianity as just a walk in the park, it's not, it's a race. It's not a, a stroll. Pensamos que es, que es bien fácil, pero no es. A race is an intense, tough, and physical thing. Es una carrera y es difícil y es intensa. Well, those are the th three things I wanted to go over today. Esos son tres puntos que quería cubrir hoy con ustedes, hermanos. And, uh, hold on, I got a little left. Don't freak out. Uh, espere un momento, pastor, porque usted está... You let them go eat, okay? Que se levanta, it. siéntese. No. Un predicador siempre Like I said in the beginning, there are so many things that a father must be. And Hay it's muchos. all in here. Todo está en la Biblia, lo que debe de ser un padre. And, uh, I would like to close this with a... Quiero cerrar esta mañana. Little testimony. It's actually a two-part testimony, actually, about. Es un testimonio de dos partes. Something recently that uh, impacted me and. Uh, Algo que me impactó recientemente. You know, just brought me back to. Me trajo para atrás. My own upraising with my father. Mi crecimiento con mi padre. You see, a very close family recently passed away on my wife's side. Ah, uh, murió un tío de mi esposa. And, uh, Estaba muy cerca a nosotros. He was a good man. Era un muy buen hombre. And uh, he had good children. Niños buenos. His son spoke at his funeral. Su hijo habló en el and, uh, he said something that really algo. touched me, but something that reminded me of my own father. Algo que me tocó. He said that his father que su padre left him something very important. Le dejó algo muy importante. And those were tools. Y le dejó like my father, he was probably a handyman, a very handyman, actually. Le dejó unas unas herramientas. See, and the tools that he left him Las herramientas que le dejó were to handle all of life's issues. Que pueda a poder a, a tratar con todos los cuestiones de la vida. And my father tells me something all the time. He tells me. Y mi padre siempre me dice. Well, because I like to work on my cars. I like to work on things. Trabajo en mis carros y cosas manuales me gusta. And most of the time he has to come in there and help me out. Y él viene y me ayuda. But he always tells me the same thing. Y me dice lo mismo he siempre. He says if you use the right tools. Si usas las. You get the job done. Las herramientas correctas puedes hacer el trabajo bien. Because you can't take a car apart with just a screwdriver. No puedes dejar deshacer un carro nomás. Con un tornillo. 
But you see, my father taught me that same thing. Mi padre me ha enseñado lo mismo. And all the tools are right here, is what he told me. Y aquí están todas Every tool las... for all of life's problems, all of life's issues are in here. Todo está en la Biblia. But it can't just be like my dusty old toolbox in the garage. Y no puede estar como We've tengo. We gotta open it up. We gotta look in. Que esté colectando tierra, no ábrela. You see, this has to be your foundation. La Biblia debe ser tu fundación. And this comes the second part of my closing testimony. Y aquí viene la segunda parte de mi testimonio. How important is your foundation? It's, ¿Qué tan importante es tu fundación? It's what holds everything together. Esto es lo que mantiene todo junto como pegadura. And I want to thank my father for something special. This day. Y yo le doy gracias a mi padre por algo especial. You see, when, uh, when we were younger, maybe like almost a teenager, Cuando era joven, we built, uh, my parents had a house built, which is the house they live in right now, that I grew up in. Mi padre y mi madre hicieron una casa. And my father did something one day y mi padre hizo algo un día that I now see as very important. Y lo miro como muy importante. You see, he took us to that um, house that they were building for us. Sí, los llevó a esa casa que lo estaban así construyendo. It was just a foundation. That's y era, estaban, just poniendo, estaban poniendo el concreto a la fundación a nuestra casa nueva. And at the time, it just looked appealing to me because I wanted to skateboard on it. Y yo dije, esto me gusta porque puedo patinar aquí. But my father had a plan. Pero mi padre tenía otro plan. He had the, the construction people leave an opening in the, in the land. Y le dijo a los de la construcción, esa parte del medio de mi casa la van a dejar abierta con un cuadro. And what he did was he put a Bible. Y lo que hizo abrió la Biblia, la escritura de la fundación de I Jesucristo. Believe, I believe he put it in a bag. Y la puso en una cellophane para que durara mucho. And we stood there in the middle of the house in the y foundation of our home. Y los allí en el medio de nuestro hogar en la my fundación. My father buried the Bible in the ground. Y mis, mi padre enterró esa Biblia con la escritura de la fundación in the center of the foundation of our home y en el centro de esa casa was da, the word of God da la palabra de Dios I said who's going to read that down there ¿Quién la va a leer allí, papá? a father's wisdom la sabiduría del padre spiritually Espiritualmente, and physically he no was physical. making a stand and a statement que fue algo que era significado just like Joshua said As for me and my household, Dijo Joshua, de we shall serve the Lord. De mi casa, yo y mi casa serviremos al Señor. Amen. And with the word and the foundation, si la palabra la fundación, you're able to withstand the winds and the waves. Sobrellevar olas, lumbres, batallas, pruebas. If your foundation is on Christ, la fundación está en Jesucristo. So as fathers, it's never too late. Como padres, nunca es tarde. Make Christ and this word the foundation of your home. Sea Cristo y la Biblia la fundación de su hogar. And if your home's already built, don't go messing with the foundation. Y su casa ya está hecha, no vayan a hacer un bujero allí ni nada. But spiritually, it's never too late. Espiritualmente nunca es tarde. So that your children que sus may grow those trees. Crezcan como esos árboles. Planted by the living waters. Plantados por esos ríos. Our Savior. De agua viva con Jesucristo nuestro Salvador. So this morning, uh, I want to thank you for letting me do this. Esta mañana les doy gracias por su atención. And I want to tell you, uh, I know I'm over short. I kind of didn't have a lot to say, but I'll, corto? I'll admit to why, and I hope God can forgive me. But I felt it in my heart that I had to do this uh, Yo someday. Yo sentí en mi corazón que tenía que hacer esto un día. And I know that uh, I would like to help my dad on Father's Day as a, like, you know, like a small gift of appreciation. Like I'll talk for you today. Le digo, padre, yo lo predico hoy como un And like all week, I thought about telling him, I'll, I'll do it, dad. I'll try it. Y toda la semana, no me atreví. But I didn't want to. No me atreví a decir. I kind of asked him, like, what are you doing Sunday? He's like, you know, the usual. I was like, okay. ¿Qué vas a hacer el domingo? And I walk away, and God was telling me. Do something. Predica hoy. And I just kept running away, and I had like a little Jonah moment, I guess. And I was like, no, it's okay. Uh, what can I possibly say to these people that they don't already know or that my father won't be able to say better than I? And God says, do it, right? So, last night, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to brag about this, but last night I was eating dinner with my father. It was about late, like 10. I told him, Dad, what are you do tomorrow? I said, maybe I could help you out a little bit. Quizás te puede ayudar un poquito. Maybe say a couple of things. Decir unas cuantas palabras. He says you want to do it. Quieres predicar? No, sí. 
Él ha esperado este día, hermanos. Thought, por 30 años. Desde de la noche. No ha he hecho nada, Señor. Pero si no hacemos la voluntad de Dios, no eres so feliz. Si no hacemos la voluntad de Dios, no eres feliz. Dije que I sí. Y, fui God a gave me the words to say. y Dios me dio una palabra. Because he is faithful. Él es fiel. And sometimes we just have to trust the Father. Y tenemos que confiar en el Padre. So, happy Father's Day to all these physical fathers. Feliz día de Padre a todos los padres de. But never forget to give thanks to the one and only. Y le todos le damos gracias. Powerful God. Al Dios. Father of all creation. Al creador en el cielo. Have a short. Time. I did find a short video that I would like to share with you guys. Just a little inspiration of what I was talking about and how important it is to, to make Christ the foundation of your home and the Word of God important in your children's lives. Debe de ser impactante, hermanos. Es en inglés, pero usted va a ver con las acciones de ese niño. Y ese padre exactamente lo que Dios quiere decir. Amén. You may be seated. God bless you. I guess as fathers, you know, we do have a responsibility. Como padres tenemos responsabilidad. And what becomes of our children many a times is y lo que pasa con los hijos because of what we have done. Es por lo que nosotros hemos hecho. And I guess it is very important. Y si es bien importante. That no matter how tired, how weary we may be, que aunque estemos cansados, fatigados, that we should never stop fighting the good fight. Nunca dejamos de pelear la buena batalla, hermanos. Faith for our children. Y la fe con, por nuestros hijos. It is never too late. Nunca es tarde. Because in life we do fail. En la vida sí fallamos. But it's never too late to pick ourselves up. Pero nunca es tarde de levantarlos, hermanos. And allow the Lord to fulfill in our lives what needs to be done que dejemos que el Señor haga y cumpla para nosotros lo que tiene que hacer si podemos relacionar to con la palabra de hoy no y no hay razón de estar condenados no y no de vivir en culpabilidad tampoco porque Jesús murió por ustedes so para que usted seamos buenos padres Demonstrating his love, demostrando el amor del Señor, just like he has loved us. Así como él los ha amado a nosotros. And so that is a very inspiring, inspiring message. Fue muy inspirante el mensaje. That should transform our lives. Que los debe de transformar. And they do preach like their father. So. <laughs> <laughs> y predican como su padre. <laughs> Hallelujah. We all have to be kept in line. Todos tenemos que este, estar firmes y que alguien nos enderezca. Pues ese es el verdadero amor. No quiere decir que va a chiflar. Uh, Pastor, come on. That one does not apply. I love my grandchildren, but bueno, sí los chiflamos un poquito, pero no tanto así. No, <laughs> no hay secretos. Cuando sí se Daddy's portan mal, there, there, pero Grandpa sí <laughs> les ha dado unos pau paus, porque los amamos. So Por eso no los quejamos cuando Dios fathers, trae corrección a nuestras vidas. Como padres, ¿verdad? Demuestra su amor que tiene para con nosotros. Thank you, Michael. Gracias, Michael. Su primer. <laughs> Hermanos, hoy se cumple la profecía. Man, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's good or bad. No sé, es malo o bueno. I'll be 63 in a few days. En unos cuantos días va a completar 63. I don't know if that's a sign of retire or what. No sé si yo me retiro o qué. <laughs> But I think that in the kingdom of heaven. Pero el reino de Dios. In the work of God. Y el trabajo de Dios. There is no such thing as retirement. No hay retiro. <laughs> you see, if you want to continue to receive the benefits, si quiere con los beneficios de Dios, retire. pues no se retire. You keep working. Sigue trabajando para Dios. In the world, el you mundo. have to retire to receive benefits. En el mundo te retiras. In the kingdom of God, en Dios. you have to keep working. 
trabajando <laughs> para los beneficios. Sí, sí lo pesca, Amen. ¿verdad? En el aire. So morning, en esta mañana, padres, vengan al altar para que su pastor son, daughter, ore en bendición. Thank you, Lord. We can turn on the lights up here, brother. <coughs> I think they don't know how to put the CD, brother. Thank you, Lord. The over here. Oh, okay, the father's <laughs> over here. That's right. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The nursery kids can come too for the blessing if somebody gets them. We have fathers in the nursery. No, the children to come in. Oh. Um, <laughs> well. I see the blessing for their dads. They can yell, scream, it's okay. <laughs> you know, when God created us, cuando Dios creó al varón y los amoldeó en, en, tenía un propósito para ustedes hermanos que usted creciera y un día tuviera hijos y que les enseñara a sus hijos en los caminos de Dios Some of us have been born into a Christian home. Unos de ustedes nacieron en el Evangelio. Some of us came into the kingdom of God afterwards. Y unos de nosotros vinimos después. And haven't lived a life of sin. Después de haber vivido en tanto pecado. But the purpose of God has never changed in our lives. Pero el propósito de Dios no ha cambiado en su vida. That hermano. which He has ordained for us. Lo que él as fathers. Ha ordenado. Has sea. never been changed. No se ha cambiado. He still expects for us. Él todavía espera to read his word, que lea la palabra, to pray, que ores, to lift up our families, que levante la familia, to pray for our children, que ore por los hijos, to pray for our por los nietos, and to ask him y que les diga, to give us the wisdom, dile al Padre que te dé sabiduría, and even the knowledge that we need many a time, y también sabiduría, that we can fulfill que usted cumpla. His will in our lives. La voluntad de Dios en so I bless each and every one of you fathers this morning. And I thank God for your lives. Gracias por sus vidas. And whatever happened yesterday. Y lo que haya pasado whatever ayer, happened five days ago. Cinco días whatever atrás, happened in the past. Lo que haya pasado en el pasado. God has forgotten about it. Déjelo atrás. Dios se le ha olvidado. He has washed away our sins. Él es el que lava los pecados. He has washed away our iniquities. Él lava toda iniquidad. Hoy eres una nueva criatura en Dios. Lo que debe de importar es que de hoy en adelante haga la voluntad de Dios. Como cada uno de nosotros. Como tenemos ministerio. Y este ministerio es de trabajarlo hasta cuando Él venga. Ministering to our children. Y ese ministerio es de ministrar a, a good example to a our tu children. familia. Un Blessing no. our children. Bendice a tus hijos. Giving them direction in Dales life. Dales dirección. And helping them. Y ayudándoles. To even be better. Para ser mejores. Than we have been. De lo que fuimos nosotros. See, that's, per that's the purpose of life. Ese es el propósito de la vida. It's when you have a teacher. Cuando tienes un maestro, el maestro quiere que tú seas mejor que él. Y es lo que Dios espera de nosotros. Entrenar a nuestros hijos. Esa unción que usted tiene. Que la unción de tus hijos sea mayor en sus vidas. Bendicimos, Señor. Y gracias, Señor, por estos 
padres tan maravillosos you, Father, yo le pido Padre that in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, que en el nombre de Jesucristo de Nazaret that you would continue to touch their hearts, toca sus corazones you would continue to order their thoughts, ordena sus pensamientos and that you would bless them, bendícelo Señor and that you would sanctify them. santifícalo Señor Once again today, Father, una vez más hoy that Lord God in heaven, Señor en el cielo may you impute into our lives pon en sus vidas the wisdom sabiduría, and the understanding entendimiento, the knowledge sabiduría, the intelligence inteligencia, the revelation revelación, Father everything that we need todo lo que necesita, to be those fathers that you have called us to be para ser esos padres, I pray that it may be laid upon our hearts que sea en and nuestro, upon our lives day after day en nuestras vidas, and that as we call upon you Father y al llamarle a usted, I believe that you will answer us Conteste, and you will guide us guíalos, that we may fulfill que cumplamos your purpose in life. Su propósito. And I thank you Gracias. that you bless this, your father, que usted bendice my father, a sus padres, and that aquí, you bless them to be a blessing in their family. Que sean a su in hogar, the name of Jesus we en el pray. De Amen. Amen. And amen. 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 We have a little gift for you today. Un regalito. And it, this time, well, it's always a healthy gift, okay? <laughs> es un regalito saludable. <laughs> and so this time, you know, we're not going to send you to Subway. Hoy no van a ir al Subway. We're going to send you to the chicken place. Ahora van a ir a Chick-fil-A. <laughs> we're going to send you to Chick-fil-A. Nos vamos a mandar para Chick-fil-A. We bless you. Bendecidos son. And may you receive this y reciban as a token of love como un regalo de amor on behalf of Resurrected Life Church, Resurrected Life Church, Resurrected Life Ministries. Ministerios que vayan a, we a love su you. lunch break to eat. And we es thank que es God difícil hallar regalos para ustedes, hermanos. Yo no sé qué les gusta. Entonces, uh, yo sé que sí les gusta comer. <laughs> And all the men say, Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. God bless each and every one of you. Dios los bendiga, hermanos. Aleluya. Siga siendo bendecido. May you be blessed. Amen.